Okay, it's uh, September 2017. I'm going to do a new performance test here on this computer because it's a new graphic card. It's a GTX 1060. My old GTX 470 died on me about two years ago. And I could still use it in just regular mode, but the, I couldn't use it with the GPU. So uh, I still have the old same old CPU. It's 13 frames a second. Well, that's not so great, actually. 30 frames a second. Uh, I keep running into frame rates that run between about 15 and 50 frames per second. I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing. Sometimes if I move this funnel up, I'll kind of change it so it kind of runs on its own. Let's see. Yeah, there's 50. So I think a lot of it comes down to collision with objects and objects colliding with the surface. You can see some of those cars in front don't have uh, rigid bodies set for them. All right, and then I've actually also tested it with sound as well, and that's actually working out quite well. So it's kind of like for the first time in literally decades, it's like the personal computer has finally arrived to the point where I can actually start doing something reasonable using enough math and physics that I like. In fact, I'll record some with some sound here in the near future as well because it really brings this thing to life. And in the past, if, for those of you who have seen my tornado videos, uh, the, a lot of those have been faked in a lot of ways. Now, in this particular one, I'm actually not faking everything, but you have to fake things because in the past, computers simply weren't fast enough. But ideally, really what I want it to be able to do is have every single object be you know, calculated every single frame with accurate physics. And even though the graphic cards are really powerful these days as far as draw speed is concerned they still don't have the CPU power to be able to do a lot of vector calculations and that's really what's required to move things accurately some of these things are actually maybe about 150 200 objects in here are being accurately moved and then I have other ways that I fake the other movements so I'll I'll do a recording here with the audio only without any narration and then you'll see what the difference is between it having some nice sound in a program as well. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.